Hey guys, Tierra here with Dog Girl Fitness and today's video is all about the top four things to consider when deciding where to apply for residency. Welcome back to my channel, guys. For those of you who don't know, I'm Dr. Tierra Range, a pediatric resident physician whose videos focus on medicine, lifestyle, and fitness. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss another video. We have now made it to episode four of my Applying to Residency series. And if this is your first time tuning in and you wanna know all about the ins and outs of applying to residency, then make sure to click this button up here so that you can go through all of the rest of the videos that pertain to this series. Then you can circle back to this video once you're all caught up. So if you've completed all of the steps that we've mentioned so far in the last three videos, then by this point, pretty much all of the parts of your ERAS are taken care of. So now we can get to one of the most fun parts, which is deciding where to apply. Now this can be a daunting process, but it really should be fun because you're one step closer to the moment you've all been waiting for, which is the day in which you can press submit on that application. And when you press submit, all of these places are the places that are going to assess your application, see who you are as an applicant, and decide whether or not they want to extend an invitation to you for an interview. There's many things to consider when going through this process, but there's really four major things to focus on when deciding where you should apply for residency. Ready to find out what they are? Well, let's get right to it. So the first thing to consider when deciding where to apply for residency is how many programs you're going to apply to. While you may already know what your top three to five choices are for programs to apply to, it is in your best interest, despite how great of an applicant you are, to apply to quite a few programs and to apply broadly. Depending on what specialty you apply for, based on your grades, extracurricular involvement, and most importantly, your SEP scores, you should apply somewhere between 20 to upwards of around 60 or so programs. But this really varies based off of what specialty you are applying for and how you look as an applicant and how those two mesh together. If you are applying for a less competitive specialty, such as those in primary care, and you are a very competitive applicant, meaning you have top scores on your step exams, you have excellent grades, and you are very involved extracurricularly, then you may not have to apply to 60 or so programs. Likewise, if you are applying for a very competitive specialty, such as urology or orthopedic surgery, and you're less competitive of an applicant, meaning that your step scores or your grades may be average or below average, then you may want to consider applying to many programs and you may want to apply very broadly across the country. The subject of how many programs to apply to is an excellent question to pose to the person who is the program director for the specialty you are applying to at your home institution. Seeing as how you already have to get a letter of recommendation from the program director of your medical school, use this opportunity to begin the process of being mentored by this person and ask them right away, how competitive of an applicant do you consider me to be in comparison to my peers? If you are in my shoes, how many programs would you apply to this application season? How broadly do you suggest I apply this year? Not only will you elicit a very honest response from the program director, but you are also opening up the line of communication for them to also mentor you on other parts of the application process. Once you know how many programs you're applying to, another thing to consider when deciding where to apply for residency is whether or not this program aligns with your long-term goals. Residency application season is an excellent opportunity to search for your perfect fit. Is there a program that offers certain services that you are interested in providing to your patients and you know that if you went there, you would get a lot of opportunities to practice those certain skills? Are you interested in going into a very unique or niche fellowship that is actually offered at one of the residency programs that you're applying to? These are very important things to consider because this is where you're going to be spending quite a bit of time and the people you're surrounded by are people that you're going to be surrounded by for several years. No matter which ACGME accredited residency program you attend, you are going to receive the education you need to become a proficient physician. Just make sure to keep in mind that this is a great opportunity for you to find your perfect fit and that place that best aligns with your long-term goals. 
The next step in deciding where to apply is to consider location. This kind of goes along with finding out what your long-term goals are and if this program reaches those goals, because wherever you end up for residency may be where you end up practicing as a physician. Specific areas typically hire physicians who graduate from residency programs within that area. So you should really keep in mind whether or not the location that you're applying to programs in is an area that you could see yourself living in, not only throughout the time of residency, but also for the foreseeable future. One final thing to consider when deciding where to apply for residency is your family. This seamlessly ties into location, especially if you are very, very close to your family and want to stay close by to them while you're in residency. If your family lives in the southwestern part of the United States and you want to see them almost every single time you have a vacation or you want to be close enough to them to be able to visit if you have a golden weekend, then it may not be in your best interest to only apply to programs that are in the northeastern part of the United States. This also is an excellent time to consider the family that's living with you. Do you have a spouse or kids? You may want to consider programs that are nearby to excellent school districts, or it may also be important to consider areas that have lucrative job opportunities for your spouse if they are not involved in medicine. Once you've considered these top four things when you're trying to decide where to apply for residency, if you need a little bit more help or you would like to organize all of this information in one place, I strongly suggest you visit the FRIDA Residency Database Program. FRIDA allows you to search from among 12,000 different residency and fellowship programs, all of which are ACGME accredited. You can search for different programs in your specialty of choice, and look at different things that these programs offer as well as what they are looking for out of an applicant in terms of the average step score and the average GPA of the current residents at that program. Once you've found the programs that you like, you can even add them to a favorite list. All you have to do to have access to this FRIDA residency program database is be a member of the American Medical Association or AMA. And that's pretty much it guys. Those were the top four things I think you should be considering when deciding where to apply for residency. If you're already in residency, fellowship, or a full-fledged practicing position, what were some of the things that you considered when you were applying? If you're currently in the application process, what are some other things that you wish you knew about certain programs before you apply? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or just wanna chat, let me know in the comments section below. And if you like videos about medicine, lifestyle, and fitness, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.